हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू आवर चैनल आई एम सूरज कुमार टेक्निकल कॉन्टेंट क्रिएटर एंड टूडे वी आर एक्सप्लेनिंग अबाउट द वर्किंग ऑफ दिस यूनिट सेट ऑल इन वन बैटरी असेंबली यूनिट वाई ऑल इन वन दिस मशीन इज नोन एज ऑल इन वन बिकॉज इट इंटीग्रेट ऑल द प्रोसेस ऑफ बैटरी असेंबली इन टू अ सिंगल यूनिट एज वी कैन सी दिस इज द बैटरी सेल टेस्टर दिस इज कॉल्ड द सेल टेस्टर स्पेसिफिकेशन ऑफ दिस सेल टेस्टर इज फाइव वोल्ट सिक्स एम्पियर आफ्टर दैट वी नीड टू वेल्ड द बैटरी पैक वेल्डिंग द बैटरी सेल्स वी नीड टू वेल्ड वेल्डिंग मशीन दिस इज स्पॉट वेल्डिंग मशीन एंड आफ्टर दैट आफ्टर Building the battery pack, we need to test our battery pack. To test this battery pack, there is a battery charging and discharging that is also called aging machine. After that, we need to test the BMS of the battery pack. For the BMS, we need a BMS tester. This is the BMS tester. So, this all unit comes with a single structure. So, this is called all-in-one battery assembly unit. Now, let's see the working of this uh, all-in-one battery assembly station. So, this is. Mr Sumit technical service engineer at Semco Infratech he will introduce you about this machine in details Thank you Suraj So basically in this all in one machine our first machine is cell grading machine we are going to grade the cell on the basis of the capacity So about this machine this is U powerful machine 5 volt 6 ampere eight channel machine So basically how we are going to grade this cell I will tell the entire step for that So first of all we need to charge the cell till its higher rating of the higher rating voltage of the cell and then going to give the rest mode then after the third step will be we are going to discharge the cell to its low rating and then again we will give the rest mode and the final step is we are going to charge the cell till its nominal voltage Where you are going to see this all parameter up to what what rating it is charging up to what rating it is discharging so yes suraj so basically for this we are having one software for that in a pc as you can clearly see there is u powerful bts so i'm just clicking on it so basically as you can see easily there are eight channel for it and we have connected all, all the cells to the all the eight channels and this seventh one is is in the fifth step fine as far as that step part is concerned so i will go system function editing item process so as i previously told you the first step is we are going to charge the cell to its higher rating voltage and the current we are charging the cell by 0.5 0.5 c so that's why we have given 1300 milliampere and then idle mode rest mode and then the third step is we are going to discharge the cell again with the same current 1300 milliampere to its low rating voltage and the fourth step idle and the fifth step is again we need to charge the cell to its nominal voltage that is 3.7 volt with the same 1300 milliampere this was all about the working of this first machine our first grading machine the now the next next machine is welding machine for uh, welding we need a spot welding machine so let us know about the this spot welding machine and how this spot welding machine works so yes suraj so our second machine is spot welding machine as you can clearly see this this, this is 737dh this is the we need to weld the cell with the help of this so my colleague will demonstrate it so basically in this welding how this welding is working for this we are having a paddle over here whenever we are going to spot the cells we are going to press it as you can clearly see that fine and now you can check the strength of the welding yeah this is pro properly welded yeah so this was all about our spot welding now we have to go on uh, the next machine is battery management system testing bmst so sumit will tell us about how this bmst works thank you suraj so basically for this bmst we are again having a software for that how it will work so basically it works on the on the protection of that battery so 
Uh, we have connected the BMS to that BMS tester, as you can clearly see that. And for this, we are also having a software PBTH. We have already opened it. So basically, this BMS is 16 series. As you, as you can see, I have clearly connected all the series to BMS. And basically, this is the interface, entire interface for that. And how we are going to create a solution. So basically, so first of all, we need to log in it. So first of all, we need to log in it. As you can see, this is a Dropbox. You can see empty operator manage, manager debugger. So we are clicking on manager and the password. Now we are going to log in it. Okay. After logging it, we are going to check the solution. So this this is basically what the solution we have made. These are all the parameters that are being checked on the basis of this BMS. And for the rest, I'm handing over to Suraj. So this was all, all about our BMST. Now the next uh, machine is battery charge discharge or aging machine. So after the BMS testing, we need to test our battery pack. The battery pack which we have welded we need to check that battery pack that that battery pack is up, up to mark or not so uh, for explanation of that battery charge discharge aging machine uh, i am handing over to sumit please explain so basically as previously i just told about cell tester so this is the battery tester previously we, are, we were grading the cell on the basis of the capacity now we are going to grade the battery on the basis of their capacity only so for this also we, we are having the all three all five steps charging rest discharging rest charging again with the red higher rating for charging then uh, low rating for the discharging and last step is for the charging till nominal voltage so for this also we are having a software for that clearly see semco this bcd is one channel so as you can clearly see that this is a software this is basically the interface of that software and right now we have connected one battery over that and in this you can see it is in discharging mode see as we clearly see here also this is the third step as i previously i just told so that charging process is already completed and then rest mode also completed so this was all about our all-in-one battery assembly unit but at the end we want to conclude that uh, this was our standard version in which only five testing machines are integrated but in our advanced uh, machine we will introduce IR tester over here and a battery comprehensive testing machine over here so that uh, model will be our advanced battery assembly unit in which two extra machine will be added that's all for this all-in-one battery assembly unit we will meet you in the next video thank you thank you